My name is Rachel Humphrey. I work for General Cable. I'm one of General Cable's master black belts. General Cable has been a company since 1927. We've been part of uh, the war effort. We put cable through under the English Channel to, to uh, support the D-Day landings during the Second World War. General Cable manufactures different types of cable products that you might be aware of, like the patch cable that goes to your computer, landscape lighting, um, overhead power lines, all those types of products, a very broad range of products. I'm a master black belt for General Cable and that means that I'm really uh, guiding the program, the Lean Sigma program and their efforts. We were looking for quality improvement type products. We already had people working on Lean Sigma projects which are always involved in gathering data and making database decisions. We had tools like Excel and Minitab which are offline analysis tools mainly. But we were looking for something that we could give to our operators to give them real-time feedback on how their processes are performing. And we started to look at what we thought would be important criteria for us. We wanted something that was easy to customize, had to be easy to use for operators. We put these criteria together and did an analysis against your competitors and IQS came out with the best score. So. One of the most important features that we've, we've been using with Infinity QS is the ability to connect the system to gauges, diameter gauges, and, and other gauging systems that we have weight measurements. These systems can then drop the data directly into Infinity QS, uh, which increases the accuracy because we don't have any fat fingering, as we call it, or mistakes from typing. But it also is a good selling point to the operators because where in the past they were taking a measurement, maybe writing something on a piece of paper, now they just have to hit a button, and that's a big, big selling point for us. What it's given us is the ability to choose projects much more wisely for our black belts and our green belts. We have good data that tells us these are the products that we have problems with and we should be going after for improvements. These other products that are performing well and maybe they're not our priority right now. And this gives us the data to make those decisions. We are currently using IQS in, in 16 of our facilities. We have 70 licenses utilized. and. Yeah, we've been using the, the system for about two and a half years and we've been rolling out steadily during that time. Uh, we've seen, in every location where we've implemented it, we've seen improvements in, in the data, in the, in the processes. We're seeing trends and uh, more stability in our processes. We're seeing um, more awareness from the operators on what they're doing and also a little bit of competitiveness between different shifts and different operators and we're seeing improvements, reduction in material usage and, and greater stability and greater quality because of that. The typical return on investment when, with an implementation of Infinity QS is less than six months. We've seen that in, in every location where we put it in, we've seen a good improvement. I can't imagine not using Infinity QS now we started using it and in fact when we have a glitch and so the system goes down somewhere I get phone calls immediately and it's usually you know just a network issue or something like that but I know as soon as it goes down because that's how important people find it.